This is another video sponsored by Casual Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to find the inverse metric for 3 times 3 matrix. So this is a matrix A. So if you want to find the inverse metric for this matrix, I will use a method called augmented matrix. So which is what I will do is I will combine uh, two matrix into one column here. Okay, here I will just copy my uh, matrix A here. 4, 1, negative 1, 2, 0, 1, 3, negative 2, 4. Here will be the identity matrix for 3 times 3. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, my objective is I want to change my... Okay, this is my left-hand side. This is my right-hand side. I, I will change my left-hand side matrix into the identity matrix, which is I want to change this uh, 3 times 3 into the 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And my right-hand side, I will... Then after when I change through the row operation, uh, here I will get my inverse matrix. So whatever answer on my right hand side here will be the inverse matrix for A. Okay, so if you get the idea, then we will start to do a row operation. But when I do the row operation, right, I will kind of fo uh, uh, follow this sequence so that it's easier for me to do. So first I will change this one into the zero. So I will change this one into the zero first. Then I will change this one into the zero. Then I will change this one into the zero, which is negative two. I will change it into the zero. Then I will do negative one into the zero. And then I will change the one into the zero. And then I will change the this one into the zero. Okay, later when I do a row operation, it's no longer one. When I say it means basically it's uh, this position. So I will change this position first and then this position. Because when I do a row operation, all, all this position number will change when I multiply or minus or plus. Right, so okay, let's have a look uh, how I, I will do it. Okay, so first thing is I want to change this tree become a zero. So normally I will call this one as my row one, row three, a uh, row two, row three. All right, so in order to make this uh, the first number of row three become a zero, what I will do is my new row three, I will just say my real row three will be this arrow. Uh, I will say Maybe I use row 3 and row 1. I will say 4 multiply the row 3 minus 3 multiply the row 1. Because 4 multiply 3 give me 12. 3 multiply 4 give me 12. 12 minus 12 is 0. Okay, then, okay, when I only focus on row 3, row 1 and row 2, I just copy. 4, 1, negative 1, 2, 0, 1. Here I also copy 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Okay, then you will focus this one minus this one, the first one is zero. So this one is negative eight minus three. So it's negative 11. Then this one will be 16 minus negative three, which is 19. Then this is zero minus three, which is negative three. Then this is zero minus zero, zero. Then this one is four minus zero is four. Okay, now I got the first zero already. Then the second position will be here, isn't it? So I want to make this number become zero. Maybe I do between row one and row two. Okay, so I will want to do my first row two, a new row two, which is I will do the, uh, maybe two multiply row two minus row one. Okay, and let's do it. Okay, basically, when I want to change my row 2, my row 1 and row 3, I can just copy. Huh? 4, 1, negative 1. Here would be 1, 0, 0. This is 0, negative 11, 19, negative 3, 0, and 4. Okay, then, okay, so 2 multiply 2 is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. Okay, so 2 multiply 0 is 0. And then minus 1, negative 1. This one will be 2. Uh, minus negative 1, which is minus negative 1, so which is plus 1. So this one should be 3. So this is 0, negative 1. Then this one will be 2. Then this one will be 0. Okay. Then the next number, I will make it into 0, which is this one, 11. So in order to make this uh, 11 into 0, you can choose between you want row 1 and row 2. But because later, I want to keep these two become 0. So I will change between this row only. Row 2 and row 3. So I, I will say the new row 3. Okay, so I will use the uh, 
row 3 minus 11 multiply row 1. Okay, so I will get something like negative 11 minus negative 11, so I get 0. Okay, so row 1 and 2 I copy. This is 1, 0, 0, negative 1, 2, 0. Okay, then here I will just minus this one is, I will get 0. So this one is 19 uh, minus 33. So like 19 minus 33. So I should get negative 14. Alright, then this one is row 3 minus uh, bin plus, plus 11. So I should get... Uh, this is negative 3 plus 11, so I should get 8. This one is 0. This one is negative 22. Then this one will be 4 minus 0. This one is remain 4 here. Okay. Then, okay, right now I have 3, 0 already. Then the next next number, I want to change it into 0 will be this number. So, okay, right now we focus on row 1. So how to make this one become a... Uh, zero is maybe I will change I will do between the row one and row three. So my new row one should be uh fourteen multiply row one uh minus row three. Okay? Because I will make this number become zero. Then row two and three I can just copy. Zero zero negative fourteen. So this is negative one two zero eight negative twenty two four. Okay, then I want to do a row one. So like 14 multiply 4, I get 56. Because it's minus 0, right? Okay, then this one is 14 minus 0 again. So it's 14. So this one will give me 0. Then this one will be 14 minus 8, which is 6. Then this one will be 0 minus this one. So it will be positive 22. This one will be 0, minus 4 is in negative 4. Alright, then the next number I will make into 0 is uh, this number, 3 here. I want to make it into 0. So, what I will do here is, okay, I can see, uh, maybe I do between these two. Okay, so I will say the row 2 is equals to, uh, 14 multiply row 2 and then I want to plus 3 multiply row 3 okay so that I can make this number become the 0 is there any easier way yeah I think this is the only way so let's do it so in, a, in order to do row 2 1 and 3 I copy 56 14 0 0 0 negative 14 this is 6 22 negative 4 8, negative 22, 4 here. Alright, let's do this one. So, okay, here is both 0, it's fine. So this one remains 0. Okay, so right now, this one is 14 times negative 1 is negative 14. And then plus 0, right? Then this one, I will get 0. Okay, so here, this number here, which is 14 times negative 1, negative 14. So I get negative 14 plus... 3 multiply 8. So this is 10. Okay, then 14 times this one is 28. 28. And then I will plus. Uh, then 3 multiply negative. So it will be negative 66, isn't it? Is it? Let me double confirm. This is, oh no, 22. This is 28, isn't it? 28. Because 2 multiply... 14 is 28 and then plus negative 66 okay this is negative 38 then this is 0 plus 12 so which is 12 because 3 times 4 is 12 okay then the last number I want to make it into the 0 will be this number so okay then what I will do is I will say the row 1 this one I will just uh, plus between row 1 and row 3, uh, row 2, sorry. So I say row 1 plus row 2. Okay, so 2 and 3 I copy, 0, negative 14, 0, 0, 0, negative 14. Then here will be 10, negative 38, 
12. This one should be 8, negative 22, 4. Okay, right now we just plus these two rows. This one is 56 remain. This one will be 0. This one will be 0. Okay, so it's kind of all the zero I want here. And then this one, I will just plus. This one, I will get 16. This one, I will get uh, negative 16. Okay, this one, I will give me 8. Okay, then right now, in order to make this one become 1, 1, 1. So what I will do here is uh, basically the this row, I will just say is, um, the my row 1 is basically equals to... Uh, row 1 divided by 56, isn't it? So like row 1 divided by 56. Or you can say like 50, uh, 1 over 56 times row 1 is the same thing. So this one, my row 2, I will just do something like my row 2 divided by negative 40 to make it become 1. Okay, so my new row 3 is basically the same thing. So I will just use my whole row 3 divided by negative 40. Okay, so this is what I will get here. So I will get 1, 0, 0. Then here, all the number divided by 56. So 16 divided by 56. Negative 16 divided by 56. 8 divided by 56. And then for this one, all the number divided by negative 14. This one become 1. So 10 over negative 14. 38 over 14. Then 12 over negative 14. This one negative, negative, I cancel out. Huh? So this one divide negative 14 as well. So this is uh, 8 over negative 14, 22 over 14 because eliminate the negative, 4 over negative 14. Alright, and then all these are even numbers, so normally I will just uh, simplify. Okay, this one 16 over 56, so I got 2 over 7. 2 over 7, this one should be negative 2 over 7. And then this one 8 over 56. I should go 1 over 7. And then this one, I can divide 2, which is 5, negative 5 over 7. And then this one uh, is 19 over 7, if not mistaken. Then this one will be negative 6 over 7. And then the bottom one, this one should be, um, divide is 4, yeah, negative 4 over 7. This one should be 11 over 7. This one should be 2 over negative 7. Alright, so you should know. Okay, this one will be my inverse metric, right? Then I can say my A inverse. And you realize all the number is divided by 7. Basically, I can take out 1 over 7. And then I only take the numerator for every single one, uh, which is 2, negative 2, 1, negative 5, 19, negative 6, negative 4, 11, and negative 2. Okay, so then this one will be my answer. Okay, right now, you realize we actually spent uh, more than 10 minutes to solve this question. But what if I want to use the calculator to solve? Let's see what happened here. So I will just go back to my question, which is this one. I go to the menu. I look for the matrix, uh, which is number 4. I, de I define my matrix A is 3 times 3. I type 3 for 2 times. Alright, then this is 4. 1, negative 1, 2, 0, 1, 3, negative 2, and 4. Okay, then after that, I go to the option, calculate the matrix. Okay, what I want to do is, I just need to go to the option, choose my matrix A, which is just now I define one, and then I just key in this button, you can see, matrix A inverse. I type enter, and then you should be able to see the answer. Yeah, if you're using a calculator for this one, it's really fast. Okay, so here they show decimal, but luckily here they still can show the fraction. Then you can actually check your fraction. So the first one is 2 over 7. Then the next one is negative 2 over 7. The next one is 1 over 7. Then the next one is negative 5 over 7. 19 over 7. Negative 6 over 7. Negative 4 over 7. 11 over 7 and negative 2 over 7. Okay, and then if even though you want to check the determinant, okay, this one we call it as the determinant. Yeah, you want to know this determinant, is it 7? You can still check using the calculator. You just go to the option and it will come down, look for a determinant. Alright, 
and then option, the matrix A just now, close the bracket, it will tell you your determinants of matrix A is 7. Yeah, so when you have the this kind of calculator, you can actually count this kind of uh, matrix question. You can solve this kind of inverse matrix question really fast, even though it's 3 times 3. Anyways, I hope you learned something from my video. See you in the next video. If you are interested to get this 570EX calculator, I would strongly recommend you to go to their Shopee official store or Lazada flagship store to get the calculator. Based on two reasons. First is you will always get the free gift from them. Second is we can always assure the calculator we get is the original one. Right, so here I will provide you a little guide on how to shop at their store. You can see I have the Shopee and Lazada. Okay, so if you go to the Shopee store here, what you need to do is you just go to search here. You can search Casio official store or you just type the Casio here. You should be able to see the Casio official store here, which they have about 224,000 followers for right now. So you click on it. So after you click already, here actually say something like search in the shop. You can just type a calculator or scientific calculator, then you are fine. Yeah, I actually searched the scientific calculator before. You just type on it. Right, then you should be able to see the calculator. So right now, 570EX, they're actually selling for 75 ringgit and then they will give you a different free gift uh, based on different time. But if you ask my recommendation, I always ask my student to go to buy the 991. It's basically, it's the same model with this one, but 991EX actually add a solar here. So that I no need to worry about the battery issue. But this one, is you can see, it's actually like 34 ringgit more expensive. Uh, just depend on your budget. If you have the budget, always go for the solar one. If not, I think 570EX is good enough. And then you can also choose to go for Lazada, see which platform actually offer you the better price. So if you go to the Lazada, what you need to do is search over here. You can just search Casio flagship store or you just type Casio is fine. I believe you should be able to search them. Casio flagship store over here. So right now it's about 123,000 followers. Okay, so from here, you can see here, we have a button called search in store. So over here, you can just type a calculator then you will show the same thing also. So you can see for the solar one, the price is the same. So yeah, 109. And but for the 570EX in the Lazada right now, it's slightly more expensive, but this one is not always the case. So whenever you want to shop, right, I always recommend you to compare between uh, Shopee and Lazada because both of the store are owned by the Casual Malaysia here. So you can see at the Shopee right now is 75. They also free a notebook for you. And then for the Lazada, it's about 87. And though they also free you a uh, notebook. And another thing you might need to consider is about the delivery fee, right? So sometimes you have the free delivery voucher, then you can just use to get the cheaper rate. And then I will share both Shopee and Lazada link at my description below. Anyways, I hope you enjoy shopping and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.